It's a bit later than planned and it is going to be a two-parter with the second part of today's redraw video dropping as a bonus video next week. But it's time for the January 2024 redraw in February. Anyway, let's bring these illustrations to life. Hey kid, what are you up to? You're not slacking off on the mech arm that's got you to work on, are you? Look who finally decided to show up. And yes, it's over there. It's 90% complete. Just need to add a few more features, update the software, and who's that? Oh, you mean Flosty? She's new. Hi, I'm Flosty Raptor, and I'm the newest member of the team. Yay, go me! What do you mean the newest member of the team? I go on adventures with Nexum, Mr. Dino Monster, and the others. Wait, you're not serious, are you? I've been trying to get Mr. Mech Armor Expert here to take me on a mission forever. Hey, Nexum, what the hell? How come she's on the team and can go on missions? And I'm here doing your Mech Armor orders. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, kid. Not like I had a choice in it and all. She just showed up and we were told she's on the team. No idea how she got on the team or who gave her the clearance, just that they came from high up and, well, I can't argue with those at the top of the Department of Multiversal Matters. Not if I don't want to have to pay any interdimensional tax. Can't believe they were watching me long enough to get evidence that I'm skipping out on paying any of the interdimensional taxes. I'll have to be more careful in future. Interdimensional tax? What? Anyway, I guess you want to know how the armors I made for your clients turned out. Sure, kid. I did let you take on some job experience on these. So what do you have in store for me? I'm curious to see the craftsmanship of your first trio of armors I gave you to build. Wait, what? You can make mech armors? What's one of those? Uh, just wait here. I can show you as I show Mr. Always Absent over there. Yay, this could be fun. Let's go. Show me. What's with this girl? Anyway, the first one I worked on was based on that green bird creature. What was his name again? Great, I'm starting to speak like him. Okay, the first one was for a client who wanted it to match their green fake one. That's the term we used, wasn't it? For the green Egyptian type bird-like creature. Anyway, I designed this to look like his fake one and I think it came out pretty decent in the end. Oh my God, that looks so cool. How long did it take? What can it do? Oh my god, that's amazing! You're almost as annoying as Mr. No Show over there. Nothing wrong with a bit of hands-on learning by yourself. Gives you some of those, uh, life skills. Can't be giving you the answers all the time. Maybe. But some guidance would have been better. However, we should continue with this armor I made. As you can see, it's got the color scheme of the fake one. Thauris was the name of this one. So I decided to call this armor Thauri. Not that original, but it had a nice ring to it. That's actually not a bad name. Thanks. So I went with a rather sleek design on this one, as the fake one was a bird and flying type. I added some holographic wings that would give it the idea of a set of wings, but the armor has some hover tech to enable the user to fly. Also, I added some reinforced sections to the hands so they can act like claws. This armor had a focus on speed. The eyes have the ability to zoom in and they can see objects with an insane level of magnification. I also added a night vision, in case of flying at night. Oh my god, you thought of everything! Can I have it? Afraid not, Velocity. That's a custom-built Nexum. Sorry, a custom-built what? Uh, I mean, that's a custom-built the kid concept. Only thing I might need to check is the power source on this one. Did you use the item I told you for the power source? <laughs> Yep, that was the first thing I made sure to check after building the frame of the armor. But this next one was a bit of an interesting one. He didn't give me any hints or help with what the client wanted based on this fake one. Litho Horror Orca? A ghost type one with a cursed and sturdy body? That wasn't easy to do. Also, this fake one weighs over 100 tons, cursing their prey and eating their souls, adding to their mass. Well, this one lives in the deep sea. And it snores? They can shake the seas and capsize ships. I think I know someone else who can do that. Hey, I do not snore. I wasn't on about you. We've just met. Oh, right. Yeah. What are you uh, trying to say? Never mind. Either way, I had to make this one work with the pressure of the deep sea. So I dug around in the files you left open with my access 
and found it is something that sets up a barrier to compensate for intense pressure. See, that's one of those life skills I was talking about. So you found the file on that? How did you get on making or replicating my awesome craftsmanship? I had a fantastic time. Since the parts you listed were not in the gear and parts you have here. You might want to work on keeping your inventory up to date. Ah, scrap. I knew I forgot to do something. Nexums in trouble. Nexums in trouble. Ha ha. Really? Yep. Me. Okay, that was kind of funny. But I put something together with the parts I found, and I think it works better than what you came up with. Hey kid, are you sure? My solution was pretty awesome. Using a bit of tech I acquired to, well, chop down to at least 80,000 leagues. With no issues or side effects. Maybe, but mine can go to any depth. Say what? Not possible, kid. You sure you're not trying to call my bluff? Nope, it can. Wanna know how? Sure, let's see how you did it. Okay, but first, I get to go on a mission with you. To never dimension next time you go to collect some parts for the mech armors. You're having me build and there's no getting out of it. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, kid, you got yourself a deal. I want to go as well. If you're about, then fine. But you are responsible for your own safety when we do. The pair of you. Deal. Deal. Okay, so I made it that the more pressure and force the suit was under, it took that force and used it to power the reinforcement barrier on the armor. That way, the more force on it, the stronger the counterforce to ensure it can reach any depth. Have to say, I'm kind of impressed. You mean, he was right? Uh, seems like it. Well, in theory anyway. Well, I did test it using that fancy testing room you failed to mention you have hidden away here. Ah, so you found it. That was meant to be to test your armors after you were finished and I got back. Huh? Well, since you're never here, and I had to test it somehow. Not keen on wasting my time or parts with what I've built, especially when you're not about to check some of the things you've asked me to make for your clients. I mean, seriously, there's on-the-job learning and there's using someone for free labor. Jeez, abandonment issues much? Hey, Velocity, that's uncalled for. What did I say? Doesn't matter, just making a point that I had to find a way to test this and the results were so good that the client paid extra. Sweet. So this last one, what did you do for this one? It was that Electronine fake one, wasn't it? That lion with fire and electric in its mane. What did you do for that? The main issue for this one was the ability to have fire and electric for the mane around the armor so that it wouldn't hurt anybody who wasn't a threat, just like the fake one does. That, well, that was a massive headache and I'm guessing you weren't able to figure it out. Oh, no, I, I did. And it was a head scratcher, but I didn't manage to make it work. Also, I decided to make this one look epic. Leaned into the lion or feline aspect a bit. The hands are much larger, but it does allow for a stronger attack and a kind of shield when the client battles with their fake mon. Well, it is a legendary beast for a fake mon, so it should be cool looking. But isn't this a bit of overkill? I mean, it looks rather, well, the arms and legs are much bulkier than the body. Is this thing meant to be agile or a tank? It's fast and agile, but strong and sturdy. It can support its frame as it lands to attack with extreme force. You got that idea from... Uh, wait. You've been watching a lot of anime recently, haven't you? Well, this one was a bit inspired by one that I saw, but the workings of this were all based on the abilities of the client's fake one. It can use fire and lightning attacks at the same time if needed, but it can also move fast enough to keep up with the fake one's movements and speed. Unlike someone who keeps slacking off around here, I haven't. I make sure that what the client wants is what they got, despite the lack of mentoring and parts. Looks like you've got a bit of a bee in your bonnet over the fact that the Department of Mollyversal Matters has had a lot of missions lately. Though you won't really understand why, even though I was able to tell you, but don't think for a moment I haven't been putting the effort into my client's requests. What do you mean? You're not here. So how can you have done the free mech armors you told me you were going to do? You haven't even started them yet, have you? Is he right? Have you not started them yet? Come with me, kid. Let me show you something. What's 
what's this? Did you know this was here? I I had no idea this place even existed. I mean, I've searched this place top to toe, but I have no idea this was here. I mean, how could I? It's, it's. Hey kid, welcome to the Nexus. Well, this turned out to be an interesting episode. And as I said earlier, it is only part one of the redraw. So if your submission wasn't selected for this episode, be sure to check out part two dropping next week because there's still a chance for it to be shown. However, a special thanks goes to the winning submissions for today's video. We have Baris by Mr. E, Lefora Oka by Mr. Green Chucks Studios, and Electronine by Wyatt Corona Richardson. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Details of the February 2024 Community Redraw, and they are Create Your Own Demonic Character. Provide details about the name, abilities, and some background information for the character. The submission deadline is the 16th of February 2024. Submissions can be sent to redraws at dmcj-illustrations.co.uk or via the Discord. Monday, we'll be continuing with the Pokemon Splash Art we started in the last live stream, and next week, part two of the Community Redraw will be dropping along with our regular Friday video. And if you want to see more content from the channel, 